This is the Emmanuel Family Devotion for Saturday, September the 4th. We take a look at tomorrow's Gospel reading, John 15, verse 18 through 16, 4. Pause the video, read John 15, 18 through 16, 4. There are dangers inherent with being a disciple of Jesus Christ. Jesus' disciples found this out. Within days of Pentecost, Peter and John would be arrested and beaten for proclaiming Christ as Savior. Stephen held fast to the gospel all the way to being stoned to death. James lost his head at King Herod's command. Church history, in fact, records that 11 of the 12 disciples would die violent deaths, refusing to deny their Savior. The Greek word martis means witness, and from it we get the word martyr, someone who's witness and gives their life for the one who gave his life for them. Much different in our world. In America, it's much easier to find a celebrity pastor or musician who turns away from his faith. Much easier to see people have less and less time for Christ and their faith. Much easier to find people who simply walk away from their salvation. What do we take from all of this? Or our world will be no different than the disciples' world. There will be people who hate Christ and anyone who follows Him. There will be people around us who would rather reject Christ than face that kind of hatred. What we must understand is that Christ is at work in the world still today. He works through His Word and sacraments. He also works through you and me. That work will not always be easy. Now we will not likely face martyrdom. We may face hatred. It will sometimes be difficult. And in tomorrow's Gospel, we are promised that we are not alone in our living for Christ, because Jesus promises His Holy Spirit. And that Holy Spirit comes to you in word and sacrament. He puts His strong arm around you. He gives you an encouraging pat on the back, grabs you by the arm, and leads you through the difficulties that you and I will face for our faith. Know that He works through you and your sacrificial works of love. He works through your forgiveness of those who wrong you. And He works through your loving words of a Savior. Your everyday life, lived in Christ, is no longer human, but divine. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, life in Christ can be difficult. Fill me with your Spirit, that I may live my life for you. Let me rejoice when there is peace, and be steadfast when I am tested. In Jesus' name, Amen. We continue to worship on site, Saturdays and Mondays at 6 p.m. and Sunday mornings at 8 and 10.45 a.m. Uh, we also will be uh, uh, concluding our a sermon series on being an inviting church this weekend. And then the following weekend, September uh, the 12th, we'll have just one service on September the 12th on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. out on our green space. Uh, please, uh, a week from Sunday for that one service, uh, come in picnic attire, uh, bring lawn chairs, tents. We'll have chairs there as well. Uh, and we'll have a luncheon afterwards uh, to celebrate uh, the unity, uh, the welcoming that uh, we have in Christ. Until then, we'll see you in church.